I've come down to Tar Lair near Macduff and uh, some great rock formations around this coastline. It's such an amazing part of the, such an amazing stretch of coastline. I've got behind me the Needle's Eye. It's just, doesn't look like it should be there. It's really cool. And I'll just change this exposure for you. There we go. So, just this great rock formation. I've photographed it many times and I may photograph it again today. The tide's on its way in. So I'll wait uh, just for a little spell until the water's coming around the base of it. The waves come right through it. It's great, really exciting to photograph. And then, I don't know if you can see that little, that little speck of rock sticking up in the middle of the frame there. Some great sea stacks over there. So I'm gonna go over there first as the tide's coming in and try and get them before anything comes down from these clouds it's not promising so it could be a problematic shoot today but that's what it's all about at the end of the day isn't it so onwards and upwards as they say or for me onwards and outwards Down at Tar Lair, there's an old disused swimming bath, which is a really cool place, kind of Cold War-like in, in its look. Um, unfortunately, not safe for swimming in these days, um, just because it's quite stagnant. But the uh, seaside part of it, which regularly gets flushed with seawater, um, you might be able to in the summertime. Not sure I would advise it though, but the dogs seem to definitely like it, that's for sure. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, this is Tar Lair Swimming Baths. I think that's what it's called. Or an outdoor swimming pool. A Lido. Yeah, it's a funny old place. It's quite an interesting place though, I think. And so, I'm heading over in that direction and over that cliff there, well, around it, to try and get some photos of the sea stacks. Okay, destination reached. These guys, pretty cool, huh? I've always wanted to go further around, but I just think it's a little too tricky. And it's a touch windy up top, so if I want to put the drone up around here, it's going to have to be low down, and I'm going to have to be careful. But I trust it. Whether or not it trusts me is a different story. Okay, so let's try and get some shots. So those of you those of you who are regular followers of, followers of my vlog, 128 subscribers maybe now, which is wonderful, thanks guys, really appreciate the support again. But those of you who support me and watch my videos regularly will notice that there is somebody absent from this scene, and that's my wee dog, Farah. She's fine, she's just got a slightly sore leg because she did too much yesterday. Uh, she had an operation back in uh, January of last year. It's never quite going to be the same. So. 
I've just left her resting at home today. It's also cold, and when it gets cold, the, the you know, the pin that's inside her leg gets arthritic because she gets a bit stiff. But I miss her so much when I'm out in these days, even though she can be a pain in the backside at times. I really do miss having her around. She's always a good companion. Um, aha, that's what I'm looking for. Oh no! Drop my GoPro pouch. So yeah, miss Tara, but she'll be back. She'll be back. So I'll uh, let you see what I'm looking at. It's a simple composition. This nice leading line of rocks out to the sea stack and a very moody dark sky and there's the image I just captured which I'm really happy with I'm toying with the idea of moving around just a little bit to there just to try and centralize it a bit more I may recompose slightly and just get the same thing okay I've recomposed my shot slightly so that the uh, the rocks in the foreground here are a bit more central. There we go, here, are a bit more central in the frame. It looks better. So we just gotta hope for a similar wave again. Otherwise it could be a bit of a pano stitch and then recrop job. You can easily fix that. I haven't changed anything else other than turn the camera slightly to the right and re-level it. Here we go. Ah, it's a good wave, it's a good wave. Let's get another couple of good waves. Here comes a good one. Yeah, that's what we want. Brilliant. And a follow up as well. So that should do us nicely. 15 seconds, perfect. Ah, oh, lovely. That's exactly what I was hoping for. So I prefer the longer exposure once again. I, I seem to be a bit of a fiend for that. I promised myself I would stop doing long exposures for a little while at some point to try and be a bit more varied, but I like it. Do we, thank you, do what you like. Right, I'm gonna recompose to this composition here. And see what it yields. Okay, I'll bring you back into the loop in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna do a panorama now. My lens at 16 millimeters still isn't wide enough. I've also taken a, a grad off. So I've left with just a thick top and a 1.2 medium edge. And I'm gonna, I've spent time getting the camera as level as possible. So as I turn it, as I turn it through the scene, it's gonna make stitching really, really straightforward. Always worth, it's always worth spending the extra moment or two to get that sorted. Now you've got to be patient here with waves, but usually you're all right. Sometimes they calm down just at the moment you need to turn the camera and get it to the next shot in the series. I'm taking the first shot already. I've adjusted my polarizer. That's the shot. I'm going to go and see if I like it. Yep, it's definitely a keeper. So I'm going to turn the camera to an overlap by about a third. I'm going to do that a few times.
guess he goes are too happy with me or happy with him. What did he do? He's innocent in this. I don't know why I'm giving my drone a persona. Uh, anyway, yeah, there was a lot. They're obviously nesting up there, which you can see. I didn't go close, but I think they're just a little bit freaked out by it. Fair enough. I'm going to leave them alone and move on. I don't want to disturb them while they're nesting. Um, but I don't want them to get hurt. That's the last thing I would want to do to any of the animals around here. Apart from this one that's maybe just done a big crap on my gear. So I'm going to head back, back around to the needle's eye, which I think should be, it should be high tide now. So hopefully I haven't missed it. And hopefully we can get some shots of the needle's eye just to finish off the day. And I may try and fly the drone through it. That could be just tomfoolery. Same without Farah. 